Good evening, folks. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's a production. This is a production. Anyway, oh, okay. this is um, production. Everton versus last time. We went out in penalties. And uh, we all are a bit pissed off, obviously. But uh, cracking all my bands. You know, one thing that we could fucking all jump around and go mental about. But uh, yeah, a legend. Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, apparently we start with you, bud. Right, cool. Um, right. Disappointed, we're out of the cup, obviously disappointed. On a plus side, if that was a league game, we came from two goals down, the fight was there again, the energy was there, the two up front was there. We got our goal back, Ed wants me to eat these headphones for some reason. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, right, so look, we're out of the cup. It was a decent performance, we did alright, we came back into the game. There's not really much you can say. Down to penalties, it's a lottery. We kept the same formation all the way through. That didn't do much until the 70th minute, but when they did kick in, they looked interesting. So we can kick on from that. And then, you see what the league comes about then after that. The new manager, which we'll get around to after that. But boys, so Connor, we have Connor, we have Anthony. Come yeah, on. And Sean, all of a sudden. <laughs> Carl has just turned into Sean. She doesn't want to have a Car look. Carl has just turned into Sean. So we're all here, we're disappointed. <laughs> I just got a slap. <laughs> we're disappointed, obviously, but there are some definite, definite good things to take from the game. Connor, how did you feel other than disappointed that we're out? We didn't really feel too disappointed. Just other than obviously out. But even when we got to the penalties, you're looking at the players that are stepping up for Leicester, second in the league, the best they've ever done. Absolutely. Everyone that has quality in them, confidence in them. To be honest, it was even, even fortunate to get picked up, pull them out of a save against anyone that has. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. But look, even to get the first two, it was nearly just as mad as he went for the goal, the range of score when he's pulled off the penalty. I don't think anybody was really expecting it. The likes of them players for the penalty, they stepped up for the penalty. Jamie Reddy stepped up for the last penalty. I mean, it's very hard to have hope for that. I mean, I'm always going to have that bit of hope. Not much there. What else about the game? Moist game, the comeback after all the controversy. That's right. That's right. right. What the right. right. Come back that. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. That's it's a It's kind of game. Everyone's tight to each other. You know what I mean? He had to make his own space and then for the game. He pulled in a great pass for Calvin Elm. He could have gone better for even league well enough to get to him. But could have gone a bit better with the finish of the header. But than that, he's done very well. I, I don't think there was too many teams to nitpick out with players or whatever. Like the Kane, you know what I mean? It's the same, same week in, week out. We don't know what they're getting. Loyabilities are certain stages for certain teams. That's always going to be the case, you know what I mean? They're never going to be surprised with them. I don't think there's anything else to say about it. That was a great performance. I don't think there's too many people in there that have a bad thing to say about it really either. Look, it's, a, it's a proud toy to be, it's ever fine, it, it's expected the last couple of weeks and I mean it's happy ending but happy about that. And it's all coming together nice because I think it's, we're ready for ready for Actually, we're ready for him to come in now. He has a, he's, he's, he's it was weird, weird, weird. It was a bit weird psychologically for me, I think, because you know I don't know really what to watch. Well yeah, it's no, it, it, it weird psychologically for me, I think because the last two games the lads have been playing for Ferguson and uh, obviously they read the papers, they list the news or whatever. And um, they know there's a new man on the way. And did, it, did we lose a bit of the Duncan factor that we had, you know, slightly, you know. In the first half, yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. there. But uh, I think if, if that was Duncan's first match, we'd have won it, probably. You know, with that same uh, atmosphere that was at the Chelsea game, you know. If that was tonight, I think we would have won that. If that was on that, you know what I mean? If that was... Yeah. If like that was the same state of mind, we'd have won that. If that was a bit the, weird. If that was the league game against Chelsea, we'd be fine with that. We're in a bit of a weird situation, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. uh, you know, like a lot of new manager on the way. Ferguson's even got another game now, again. You know, um, I only hope that the long negotiations were due, were due to Ancelotti making uh, our insistence on certain things. Yeah. I'm hoping that's why the. Yeah. the and a bit of strength of character that none of the last previous managers have had yeah, yeah. No, no, it's really hopeful though, no. We've just got one of the best managers in the world, you know, ever, no, no. It, it will have worked, it's time will tell, you know. Yeah. Uh, but one thing is, it's not going to take any, any nonsense. 
I think if I think if any young footballer around Europe, right, in his early twenties gets a phone call of Ancelotti, you know, he's gonna think about it. He's gonna think about it a lot longer than if fucking David Moyes or fucking or or Silva or, 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 or you know Eddie Howe or any of them. Oh Eddie Howe's on the phone. Oh is he? Tell the fuck off. But if Ancelotti's on the phone, oh is he? Yeah. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, there's turmoil in Napoli yeah. as well at the moment, so there's a lot of players that... We have Koulibaly in an instant. No problem. Take Koulibaly tomorrow. 21. Carl, obviously you have a bit of an insight there now into who can answer. Like, oh, to be honest with you, I'm out of touch with um, Italian football at the moment. Yeah, well, so, you seem to know more they, about it. So there are probably four good players there at the moment that we could get our hands on. And it would make a difference. Koulibaly would be awesome. I don't know what the situation is with transfers, but I do know there's a bit of unrest between the players and the chairman. He's trying to make them go on training camps that they don't want to go at. And that was a whole big part of why Ancelotti is out in the first place. So I think if there's a split in the camp and some of them are gone with Ancelotti and some went with the president before Ancelotti was sacked, I think those few could follow Ancelotti to Goodison. And if they do, they're top quality players. And hey, we have a manager that's a mercenary. We've got money to pay mercenaries now. It's well, about time we use We've probably, probably realistically only got them for about two years. Yeah. And three at the most, you know. And then you move on so to then, the next well, Yeah, but look, I'd be happy with three amazing years if, if that could happen, you know. Yeah. But, um, well, Ferguson is going to be an assistant manager, isn't he? No. Oh, no, but look, I no. think they say he is. No. I, I, think, um, I, I think after, after Ferguson... Angela, his son is going to be the assistant manager and Ferguson is staying on the coach and staff. Well, he's going to be there as well. I, I, You're going to live with the best. Some, some, oh, yeah, yeah. For, for the future, yes. It's going to Arsenal. I don't think he really is. But I think the biggest favourite of Ferguson won. That's like he's cleaning up a mess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't think, I don't think any he's top quality... He's mopped the floor for him, hasn't he? I don't think any top quality man that could have done that. Yeah, yeah, no, he had, had, yeah. had to be, he had to be a man. He cut out the nonsense yeah. straight away, yeah. He just go 4-4-2, simple. But that's a lot, he plays a 4-4-2 a lot of the time yeah. as well, you know. He does, he does, he does, he does, he plays a well. Yeah. He probably looked at what he'd done against Liverpool only two weeks ago. Yeah. And got one hour job, got the, got the lead against Liverpool. Yeah. Just, I bet he's gone Liverpool to that was yeah, that night. Yeah, exactly. And that was just so he had, he hadn't got any players uh, missing that night. Simple tactic, that was it. You know what I mean? He's probably looking at that and he's saying, I mean, look, I can make a lot of other fans happy here, but if we can do it there, yeah. a bit of time, a bit more time to do it. A bit Absolutely. more passion behind me, Tim. And let's not forget, the money is there. Yeah. The money is there. That's what it is, man. It was my life, or whatever. Yeah, and Russian lads coming in, he's talking, he's talking, he's looking up a bit. Oh, look, the money's not going to be a problem. Well, it makes up, it's a problem. You need to know how to spend it, you know? Yeah, well, no. they're it spending it on the money. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the budget that he's going to have, it's like, it's like, it's like, you don't hand a lump of silk to a fucking carpenter, you know what I mean? No. You know? Right, guys, you know I mean? think we should wrap this up before it goes just before, on all night. Just, 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 be, just, before go, just before yeah. we do go, though. You have to look ahead to the Arsenal game, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, where's the chap now? Oh, you're the chap. I'm the chap. No, no, you're not the chap. No, I'm not the Someone told me they were going to the Arsenal. Oh, it's young Logan is going to the Arsenal game, yeah. Right. But uh, on Saturday. Uh, Arsenal are in the will, will, will they have Arteta by the end, do you no. think? Or? No. I don't think Arteta will go there. I think he'd be crazy to go there. I think Arsenal would be, would be crazy to. Gamble on Arteta like that. Everton wouldn't even gamble on him. You know? I think Arteta's probably looking at looking at the centre half as an half and it's realising the problem of City. You know, we're, the, we're the best team in the world. Now half because you have no centre half. Yeah. He's looking at that team and saying, I cannot do anything with that no. team to get the defence on him. I can only make 
the set. And then on his own future, the Yeah, exactly. Like, he's, but he is talking to him, though. I think he's, 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 he's taking it. It's, it's happening. It is happening. He's actually to negotiate Look, to be honest, like, you know, whatever the about. Whatever about what when Arteta don't celebrate goals and all that kind of shit. That's that's in the heat of the moment in the game and all. I don't hold that against players, but anyway. I, I actually wish him the best if he does yeah, get the Arsenal job. Absolutely. Just as long as you know, as long as we get six points off him every time he's the manager, that's okay with me, you know. Yeah. But no, I, I wish him the best. No, I wish him I'd wish him the best, you know. And you know, never No, know. he's not right he for might, us he, now though. He is not right for no. us. We've taken those gambles before, no. they've oh, failed. No. No, we're past that. Let Arsenal take that that's, gamble. That's actually now. the whole mood of every Evertonian is. Yeah. We're, we're, we're fed up with it. No, mercy. We're fed up with it. Let's mercy give this lad a go. Let's yeah. give that lad a go. You know. I'd have taken like, we're, we're, we're not going to stick Everton. We're not going to stick Everton's cock in the glory hole no more. We're going for a proper manager. Anyway. So, anyway, this is us. We're in Harry's on the green. We're all in Harry's on the green, believe it or not. Yay! So, if you want to come down and watch an Everton game, this is where to do it. Harry's on the green. Cheers, guys.